This is going to be a review of the HTML export module. So HTML export is something that's been around. Uh, we used it in, in Elms a long time ago, um, but recently started redeveloping it and trying to get it up to snuff so that it can work both with and without organic groups. So uh, basically, once you install it, if you go to HTML underscore export, you'll get a screen that looks something like this. So you have path selectors. This is going to generate a list of paths that you want to be able to export to HTML. And so by default, you get these, these two, this core all nodes and core all menu paths. Um, if you'd like to make some changes to the list, go into site config, and then HTML export, you can see there's some options out of the box. So first one is that you're allowed to do views-based selections of paths. And so views are basically just gonna give you nodes for the most part, but um, this at least allows you to do some interesting selectors in terms of just the nodes that you want to export. Um, most likely, you're going to want to export your whole site, but um, this is, you know, again, giving some additional granularity. So you can use any view, and then selecting this here will allow it to show up in this list of path selectors. Um, you can also do type-based, so it will export everything of a certain type. And then the last thing that I need to change the language on a little bit, is uh, default DOM removal. So DOM stands for document object model. And so what this is basically saying is after the page is rendered to HTML, you're allowed, it, uh, it goes in and it'll wipe out these elements. So uh, for example, I know I don't want the admin toolbar or anything related to it to show up now. That's not going to happen for an uh, uh, anonymous user, but it's still good to do. Um, this, for example, will remove a print link that's down here. Uh, this will remove a block that typically just has dynamic features in Elm. So you can use these types of selectors to just uh, gut the HTML if you know there are elements that won't make sense when it's exported. So that's the settings page. Uh, then you're, you're basically just setting defaults for that. So for this removal, you can add whatever you want. Um, render as anonymous is selected by default. There is very experimental support for masquerade so that you can masquerade as a user and export that way. Um, but it has a lot of known issues in terms of uh, working with complex sites. So anything that uses context, it's probably going to export incorrectly. Uh, so that's why it will probably always be marked experimental. So there are some sites this will work for, um, but I wouldn't recommend it. So we're gonna stick with the render as anonymous. Um, and then we're going to actually go into an organic group because so this is an elms and you'll see I have a different option because there's an organic groups helper module. So you select all nodes in this group. So we're just going to start to run this and let that go in the background once it starts. Okay, there we go. I'm going to shrink this out of the way so it's easy to see. I'm going to open up what that is doing right now. So what it does is in your files directory, there's an HTML export folder that gets made, and then it makes a timestamped export folder. And so you can see it says processing node 294. The way that it starts to build the structure out, and you see it filling out there, is it actually just converts a reference to, uh, for example, node 299 into node 299 index.html. And now you'll see pages there. It doesn't have any of the CSS yet because that happens later on. So it actually just grabs all the pages or nodes or paths, whatever you want to call it, and starts to render them uh, straight to HTML. As it's doing this, it's collecting a list of references to, um, to different images and CSS and uh, JavaScript so that you start to get something like this. So it actually looks at what was used on the page. So in this case, it knows in contrib that the Ajax load module was loaded onto the page, so it grabs that. It knows in organic groups that there are some images associated with organic groups, and so it knows that it should grab those as well. So it does a pretty good job of grabbing these things contextually. Um, just to show what this export then looks like for this. So this is something I already had exported. You'll see I told it to remove the top bar, which is there, but the bottom bar is still here. And so this block is gone because we pruned that and then I can just click through because all these links work. 